Well, 29 tickets have been issued by Houston police since March to a volunteer group trying to feed the homeless in downtown Houston. And the city says that they're violating an ordinance that requires them to get permission to have their meal distribution on the property. Food, not bombs, set up outside the Houston library when where they have been for about 15 years now. Reporter Micah Hatfield spoke to the group and the city to get to the bottom of this ongoing feud. Micah, good evening to you. Hey, good evening, guys. There are already a few homeless people out here lined up. They are waiting on a 730 food distribution to begin, and that's what's caused the problem. The line is right outside of the Houston Public Library in downtown. The group tells us that they've chosen this location because it's easy for the people they serve to access. They tell us that the homeless people spend a lot of time in the library. The library is what seems like the issue surrounds, according to the city. It's almost like a deck of cards over here. Citations from the city are expected at this point. Since March 1st, volunteers from Food Not Bombs have gotten a collective 29 tickets from HPD. It's not that I'm volunteering to get the ticket. It's just I'm here, I'm going to serve. And if that means I get a ticket for serving the, the people who are hungry, then I'm willing to do so. Four nights a week, the volunteer group Food Not Bombs is outside the Houston Public Library on McKinney and downtown across from City Hall feeding the homeless. But over the last three months, they've been in a standoff with the city. Back in 2012, under former Mayor Anise Parker, an ordinance was enacted that required groups to get written permission from a property owner to conduct a food service event on the premise. That was not being enforced against Food Not Bombs until three months ago. Cherie Dorr, a volunteer, says she's not heard of any other groups that are being cited currently. The mayor is saying that he's going to continue uh, this process because he wants to take back the public library. We don't serve until 730 and this library is already closed uh, by then. In a statement, the city of Houston says, quote, recently there has been an increase in the number of threats and violent incidents directed at visitors and employees coming to the Houston Public Library downtown. Parents and families have expressed no longer feeling comfortable visiting the library or holding special events. The city asked the group to hold their distributions at a Houston police building on the other side of Interstate 45. For him to push that information about the homeless in the library, it's not fair and it adds a stereotype that we just do not like. The consensus among the volunteers is that they're staying put and will continue to take the tickets. They're asking for jury trials on their citations. The first trial is currently set for July. So here we are using a lot of uh, time, resources, money, tax money and stuff like that being used towards this when it's not necessary. Door says HPD Chief Troy Finner did give them a heads up that they would be ticketed before it started, but they haven't heard from city leaders again. Micah Hatfield, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.